Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I've been putting off looking at these collectibles for uh, a while now. Celestial Bones. Free, like the desert spirits. She was born to roam and never be entangled in metal to metal tussles. Like a gilt bolt of lightning, she draws her map in the lands of the Divine Finger. Huh. That actually doesn't look that bad. I gotta think I'd bet an eye if I saw that car, uh, today. On the road. Not that I'm going to be on the road today, but, you know. Huh. Aurelian the Ready. A deluxe killing machine that's both elegant like a soaring crow and fast like a scattering lizard. Traverse the Deadlands in style. My Lawson Trapper says, don't try harder, do harder. I hit A and it made a weird noise. Argent Cavalier. A dense wagon of death, uh, a dense wagon of death-laden blows, crushing enemies by lumbering punches like a heavyweight champ. Cheap tires, though. There's so many things we'll never see again. Trust. And great trees, plenty of food, security. Joy. There's been a few. It all ran out. For everyone. Sorry, I needed to sneeze. So I didn't actually sneeze. I just really thought I was going to. Wait, is that all of them? No, yeah, that's all of them for there. Grave Bridge! Dismantling the Stank Gum Camp has weakened Stank Gum's ability to terrorize the wasteland of the name Scrotus. Being dead has also weakened Stank Gum's ability to terrorize the wasteland in the name Scrotus. The Drop! Dismantling this top dog camp has weakened Scrotus' ability to rule over the wasteland. You know, I probably should have seen that it was going to be unimpressive coming, given that it's a top dog and he chooses to live in a fucking underpass and this tunnel that leads nowhere. An assuming little hole in the wall on the edge of the world. Sure. This doesn't seem like something Max would do right now, but... Medium stockpile. This significant amount of scrap has helped the stronghold to grow. That's right, I may remember now. The last time I deliberately wore no shirt, it was, uh... It was when I was punishing myself. After realizing that I had abandoned doggery do in Chum Bucket's, uh... hideout, when we were chased off by the Legion. That's not the right way. We're going to make a point. It wasn't so much the fact that I had abandoned him there, because that was a scripted thing in the story and there was nothing I could do about that. It was the fact that I, Burning Dog Face, didn't even realize it until uh, the session was over. In fact, I don't think I even realized it until like halfway through the next session, if my memory serves. Around here. Look 
Looking around for that sniper. Uh, she's in pain, Saint. I'm gonna fix. You do you, little buddy. God damn it. Oh wow, the positioning on that. Son of a bitch. I'm attempting to back up, but it's not going so well. Huh? No, don't do that. Oh, there you are. Great. That's exactly where I wanted to aim. Oh, I'm not sure. Because uh, I haven't done it very many times, but I think that uh, Max has stopped. Oh, God! Well, I'm glad I got that on camera. I think Max has stopped talking to uh, Chum Bucket. Like, entirely. He doesn't say, fix the car. Or hurry up, or anything. I was wondering when you would show up. No. Oh, he's tried to get up, too. It's very hardy. I this will help this go away. Nope, it's this chest blood that goes away. He didn't have any, I checked. What was the one he always that I always thought was rude, even for Max? He sort of snarls, hurry up and fix the car. I assume it would be meant to be, but it doesn't sound like hope to me. And not just because, you know, he must die. Please don't get out into the fight, Max. Is that the Mighty Duster? Maybe it's a tenant of the engine cult or something. You have to call it, uh... Mighty Duster. That guy put himself in precisely the wrong place, didn't he? Nice. 
they just explode as soon as they flip over? Is that what keeps happening in the hills? Imagine this happened while you were right there. I think your boss is gonna. Oh my God, Max! Maximilian, come on! Maxwell, I don't know what it's fucking short for. God damn, I love the animation for that one. But it turns out it doesn't make very good thumbnails. Some things just don't work as well as still images. Oh, you guys! I remember you guys! Taking this scrap, because it is what I am owed. Sticking up two fingers at a uh, Scabrous Scrotus, if I can borrow a. This is not my car. Okay, on second thought. the guy who has to go tell Scabrous Scrotus that someone has gone around his own territory and knocked down all of the scarecrows. on fire now. Get me in that car. There's no way I could even have hit that from this angle. The magic of belief vandalize your car while you're standing right there. The fuck is this? Stay down! something new. Nice! Yes, that's right. I had to uh, lower the air thing here to do that. 
Thunderpone of Rapture. We stand proud, wielding a Thunderpone of immense power. With this, our deeds will echo in eternity. Thunderpone damage is increased by 50%. Nice. Let me guess. And the Thunderpone of Awe. Nothing is quite so pleasing to Chumbucket than achieving perfection. And today, that is what we have done. Increase Thunderpoon damage by 100%. I'm going to go use this at least once to make it so I can get a feeling for what that's like. I wonder what I'm missing from these guys. It looks like there's a basic dude missing. Which is weird because we've even seen their version of the top dog. You know, I've just noticed looking at this thing that he seems to be the only one who doesn't use that stupid ball hammer. I mean, even this guy had the same stupid hammer as uh, the other top dogs. Hmm. Who are these guys, anyway? Well, taking out all the thing, all the uh, the scarecrows in uh, the dump, and reduce the threat to zero. And I remain. Which one is this? Mmm, delicious. That'll be something to do next time. Assuming I have, you know, any sense of the passage of time anymore. Hmm, guess there's no water here. Yeah, I took down all the scarecrows, and I did it with no shirt on. So that's neat. Of course, I'm going the wrong way. Why wouldn't I be going the wrong way? They just had a really bad day. How do I even get to that guy? I know how to get into the base, but not... Oh, uh, here we go. Let's try that again and see if he says anything. He does not! He didn't always, but... Well, it's not ideal, but, uh, say la vie. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max. When, bereft of water, I'm going to try and take on 
Was it Skull Top? Yeah! We're gonna try and take on Skull Top. Just one more name to check off the list. I suppose I should start throwing this out here now. If there's anything you guys would really, really like to see me do... ...before the uh, end of the series that isn't, like, taking out a base or whatever... ...y'all should probably give me a shout in the comments below. I'd say the series is more than long enough already. It's time to start looking forward to the end game. So I take out this mess. Mm, much too close together. He really wanted this one specifically to be guarded, you see. So I'm gonna pull that one down and then kill the guy. Mr. Ruby didn't do his job, but I digress. We got ourselves a transfer camp to take down. And we're just the guys to do it. Later.